So I now have my new phone. Um, as I found with my last phone, downloading from the cloud seems to be very, very problematic. So I will get round to it. Um, I will get that sorted. But for the moment, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to post you little clips of things um, that are shorter episodes, effectively, maybe like a daily vlog, um, which just shows things that are getting up to around the house and uh, sort of diaries of cottage life at Cottage Tranquility. Um, so let me just show you what I have been up to. Today, I have various people checking in. Now, I have painted the inside of this door frame. Um, it's had one coat. It needs more, but I've got people checking in. So, for the time being, it's one coat. Now, I've decided that, one, I need to do some filling around here where some of the top coat of plaster um, has come away. And I've only painted the outside of these green because they were really, really dark. So I'm going to obviously plaster up to that, so that'll cover a lot of the sins there. Um, but the reason I've painted first coat on here in the green is because it just brings that a lot lighter. And then what I'll do is I'll paint these walls green as well. And then I'll paint the woodwork, I think, in a sort of cream colour, just to pick it out. Um, but I think it's better in to just bring it up with the green at the moment. So yes, that's where we are with that. that so that's happened. And it kind of matches in with the colour that's on the big beam through there. Um, and the little beams as well. But you can't really see it so much because of the lighting. There we go. That might show you a bit better. Now that was done pre-me mo pre moving in. And... Uh, that's more of a blue, whereas this is a green. But they are very, very similar. Not that that's going to focus much for you. Uh, so, yes. So, what else have I been up to? Well, I have moved my drinks cabinet over here. I have been cleaning like a demon. Um, so, everything has been cleaned in here, uh, ready for new guest arrival. Today is... Um, the arrival of my wee first set of weekend guests but I have another set arriving on Saturday so it's our first full house so that'll be fun um you see the lavender is doing wonderfully out here and the humming moths and the bees are absolutely adoring that mind you when the windows open so do I it's a lovely lovely smell and look We've got some lizards lounging quite happily here. And it looks like one of them is regrowing a tail. I'm wondering if uh, Aslan or Byrne had something to do with the lost tail. But yes, sunning themselves next to the lavender. Enjoying that. But yes, I have given these windows a clean today as well. So yes, it has been exceedingly hot here. Um, very muggy this past week. There we are. So let's go and take a quick look round. So probably since I last saw you guys, I hadn't actually had any guests. So now, since then, I've had four stays uh, by three different guests. So one of them came back for another stay, which was wonderful. So let's take you upstairs. And also mum and dad came to stay and they stayed in the fern suite. So let's... Just do a final recce on this room. I've been round, I've cleaned, but you never know. So we now have a tower fan in this particular suite. This is the fern suite. I'm just gonna move this bed over slightly. Not quite sure why. Do you see what I mean? Things move about in an old cottage. No idea why. But you see. Nice, clean, straightforward uh, double bed there with lights. And you've got the um, bedside light and two sockets plus a dual USB there. And again, you've got socket and uh, 
dual USB that side. There we go. And then what we also have here is, oh, not that you need to see me, but there is a mirror now up in here. And this is the welcome guide to cottage tranquility if you're staying. And this is the uh, forger or uh, fern suites. So we've got the details there and French and English and the regulations or rules for staying here and also emergency numbers should anybody need it plus lots of lovely maps and things to do in the local area so there's horse riding there's caves there's action activities uh, there's art exhibitions there's birds of prey days out you can do there's lots of um, water activities you see, there's just so much to do here. Anyway, so we have that and we have the guide to vacationing in the Charente as well, the Charente Le Maison. We have coffee machine with sugar and coffees and everything in here. And in fact, I'm sure there was more sugars than that. I shall go and top that up. But yes, so nice coffee machine ready to use, all cleaned. Everything's all cleaned and ready to go. You can see the bedrooms are all ready. Let's do a final. Got to tuck that, haven't we? So there we go. That's what I mean by tucking. Just got that sorted. So nice clean toilets. Fresh bins. Ah, oh, yes. So, let me just pop this over here so people can have a nice leisurely bath if they so wish and sit there with their laptop, their drink, their book, whatever they like whilst they're lounging in the bath. One thing that seems to have happened is that that wooden door has warped. So I have ordered a um, hook um, lock, which I'm going to screw on to this side and to here, um, just to hold that in place, because that is winding me up that that has, for some reason, warped. No idea why, but there we are. Okay, let's just tidy these up. So the water in here can get quite hot in this particular suite. So we do have that sign there, just tidied and straightened this tap. That's all good. That's got plenty of soap in it still. Got the toothbrush holder and everything. That's all nice and clean. Uh, we put up this lovely uh, mirror when mum and dad were here, uh, which I brought from uh, my previous homes. I absolutely adore. There are clean towels, and then we have the bath mat and two hand towels there. So that is all ready to rock and roll. Just a quick glance over. So, yes, just top up the sugar shell. And the floors have all been washed down and uh, well, vacuumed and washed down. So, yeah. That's all good. One of the things I'm currently waiting on are um, mosquito nets for the windows. So I've got a couple of those magnetic ones um, on order. They've been on order for a couple of weeks, actually. And uh, they will go on the outside of the window frames there so that guests can have the windows open and let some air in without fear of mozzies coming in. Uh, and take them off easily so that they can shut the shutters at night. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you may have spotted this chest, which wasn't here before. This was in my apartment. And uh, I'm using this to store extra bedding and blankets and things um, so that if guests need them, they're there. And also stops me having to take things upstairs every time I want a fresh set. Um, 
So when I've got swap overs to do, that's nice and easy whilst the old lot is in the washing machine. It's a nice warm day today. It's not overly hot here, um, but it's comfortable. It has been so muggy for the past week that it's absolute pleasure. Now, the roses are needing deadheading. I need to crack on and do that. We do have a massive thistle here. Now, there's a reason why I haven't taken that out. And that is because the bees seem to love it. So I just decided, well, in which case, if the bees love it, I'm going to let it stay in flower and then I'll remove it and put it over in the rubbish heap. Uh, so yeah, so that's there for now. I have bitten the bullet and I have purchased a strimmer and brush cutter and um, angled hedge cutter, etc, etc. It's a four in one job. Um, it also has like a little mini chainsaw to um, cut the branches uh, of dead trees. So I thought, yep, that's perfect. Now, the only problem with that is it's not arrived yet. So um, for the moment, the garden is probably exactly how you recall it. But there is work to be done out here um, as soon as those tools arrive. Now, a friend did lend me theirs. Unfortunately, theirs didn't work. And so I had to take it in for maintenance. And that's still sat in the repair shop. Um, and again, that's been about two weeks now. So not quite sure what's going on in France. I think everyone's on a go slow, uh, <laughs> which is forcing me to be on a go slow, whether I like it or not. So those are the projects ongoing. And then I have some exciting news. This area over here, just beyond the rose bush, I am going to have somebody come out, hopefully, and just flatten it, um, level it off, so that I can put in a above ground plunge pool, swimming pool. It's not a massive swimming pool, um, but something just to take the edge off um, on really hot days where people want to come and enjoy themselves and they're not at the beaches or the lakes. And then I'm also investigating, if they come and do that, whether they can put me in a patio area here. So again, going to get that levelled off and just put some hard standing down uh, so that the furniture can sit on it and people can sit on it and heels and furniture do not disappear into the mud. So... That will go roughly where the furniture is sitting now and across to where the green umbrella is there, stopping short of the washing line um, crosses, <laughs> crucifix, <laughs> which is very French way of doing uh, washing lines. And I actually quite like it because they're not super high, which means uh, you can use them easily. Anyway, so the patio then would go from the slope to the green area and across to where the venture is now and then there would be the pool just over there beyond where the lounges are. So I don't think I'm actually going to do daily vlogs. Um, it's a little while since I filmed this particular episode and it's taken me a while to get back to doing them. So today I released a couple of shorts and I'm now going to release this episode so you guys have something to watch tomorrow. And then I'm going to start collating and trying to do a weekly vlog again. Um, there's less going on at the moment uh, around here. I mean, yes, you will see... Um, attractions, things going on over the summer. Um, so who knows? Um, but I will start getting episodes out to you because I think it's been a long while. And so I'm very sorry about the delay. Uh, but I'm back. And I have some things to talk about and things to show you. So hopefully I will get another episode out to you within a week. See you again soon.